Come on. This person, are you a madman or you're not? I know you want to be a peacemaker. You believe in your ego too much. But the reality is that Iran, like a lot of countries, are not really honest. They arrested people for dead speaking up. They murdered people for being homosexual. They don't allow these laws. They got these laws. When you go along with them, you know they're tyrants. And you're working with them. In reality, you want to give them billions of dollars to put nuclear weapons all to the country. In the reality, they will. They will build bombs. They will build rockets. In reality, they're going to flood them because you're giving them back the money they want. And you're letting them build it. You've been letting them build it for a long time. I know you believe in the Muslim way because you were raised by good Muslims, yes. But the reality, every Muslim is not always good. The reality, this world is not that peaceful. You keep thinking, yeah, the war is far from over. You create ISIS by letting all those guys go from that one prison. A lot of those guys are from that place. And you think you sell the world. You think the world would be peaceful by giving other, other people everything they want. But the reality, these people don't care about us or Israel. And they do want to destroy Israel. And you keep thinking that, you know, the world's not more unstable now. It's way unstable now. You know, from 10 years ago, it wasn't this bad. The reality, you're claiming that, you know, you forgot about what happened in 9-11. But that's normal. Well, to the Marine base. And the Marines getting shot now. And the Navy guys getting shot now. Even at home. The recruiting place. Have you solved the problem? You can't solve half the problems now. You can't solve the problem at the border. You can't solve the problem at home. The hunger problems are way up still. The employment still way up. Okay, more people got some people got more jobs, but lower pay jobs. The big bubble hit the United States like you really have bomb. But the reality, you're living in your own dimension. You believe one day you want to be on Mount Rushmore. And maybe one day you will deserve it. Maybe you can put to be a peacemaker. But the reality, you're working with the devil himself. The snake. A snake bites people. It doesn't become friends. But the reality, giving them all this money and all these weapons. You say, oh, they can buy guns and all this. Oh, you always say that. And you can come and think yourself. You always said I ran. Doesn't keep their word. And I'll admit stations don't work. I don't believe in stations much here sometimes. Sometimes I believe in cutting them off totally. But the reality is that they, when they didn't have them, they still played games. And they've been hurting people for thousands of years. And when they kill one of their own prince, they keep doing the same thing over and over again. But the reality, it's not working. You think that these people are just going to stop because you miss a nice guy. They don't care about how nice you are or me or anybody else. I wish I was 100% wrong. You know, I'm glad to be wrong. But they will one day probably send a rocket right to us and to Israel. And I don't panic. I don't really care if you want to believe or not. They're that psychotic. But the reality, you keep saying you can respond. But then you give them 24 days notice to go ahead and hide the stuff. And they can hide it. And they will hide it. Even if we got spy satellites or whatever. But the reality, by allowing them to do that in the first place, you're making a big mistake. You could really, like you said, you could create solar panels for them. You could create wind generation. We got turbines, wind turbines. We got all kinds of stuff. They don't need that kind of energy. You were the ones who were so against it in this country. You against coal mining industry. You against, uh, you know, nuclear. But then you allowed them to have it. So that's kind of backhauling. You take uh, a people stand with our allies. There's very few allies left in the world for us. And China is not one of them. They don't seem like they like us at all, huh? And they're threatening to take us down. The reality, you're playing a very dangerous game, what you're doing right now. You need to take a good look at the people you're playing with. You don't play with a snake and not think get bit. Reality. Reality, there's a lot of good people out there, but there's a lot of bad people. And if these people want freedom like we got, equal opportunity like Israel got, they would do it. They don't want to do it. They like suppressing their own people. They suppress thousands. If those people want to show a revolution in their own country, it's good. Maybe they won't, but every time you turn around, they're suppressing their own people. 
reality, can you really trust this group? No. You just think you know it all. I don't know it all. Most people don't. Like I said, maybe you should go see a certain doctor on TV. <laughs> maybe he can help in your ego. Maybe you call it a narcissist. You're a narcissist, what you want to call it. But the reality, you're going to hurt this country. Because this country ain't doing better now much more. You forgot about like 9-11 and all those things what happens. The country is hurting right now bad and worse than before. But you think you're the only president done so much. And you talk about how much pollution in the world. But then you and your wife flies around the world constantly when you see relatives or wherever using our dime. And that gets kind of sick. Every time we turn around, you're running around to take it out like when those guys were being buried. Why didn't one of you guys stand out for them, come to their funeral? They were shot on American soil. That's considered an act of war against the same country. America is foreign or domestic. That is an act of war. You don't seem to see that. Maybe you're colorblind or something, but it's sad to see that. We want a president who wants for all the people, not just one group, and not one group of one religion. The doctor would bore to go over there and they have Bible, they get shot in Iran or something like that. Yeah, Iran is so suppressive, and you're allowing this to happen, and you're allowing these people to take over their world, which is sad. If you didn't stop ISIS, we didn't stop half these people that have been created since you've been here. The reality, be aware of what you're doing. You, can, you might be the man who put this world in a big, gigantic holocaust. Remember, like I said, the little man in Germany back in the 1930s and 40s, he had a delusion. The guy, there was another one called Napoleon. There also was another one called Caesar. He helped burn Rome. Remember these people. I mean, my God, Mussolini, they hung him upside down. The reality, I hope you know we're near like those people. I hope you really do mean what you said. I hope you can make peace, but I hate to say it, but these people might be using you. And I hate to see you say I'm sorry afterward. Because you didn't realize these people are some of our demons. And some are not nice. There are good people out there and good groups of all different religions, all races. But the reality, these people are not the best in the world. And they need to be checked, and they know it too. And they are using you, and you don't see it. But I'm a prejudice. I hope I'm wrong. But I hope this don't wind up being the third war because of fucking fools who believe that everybody will become nicer because you give them the whole thing. No, it's like giving the gangbanger a gun. Of course, he's going to use it. That's his habit. Or a, gang, or a gangster or a robber. Give him a gun. Of course, he will use it. And that's what you just did. You gave these people a gun. And I hope that hell it doesn't happen. Thank you.